Atrial fibrillation is a prevalent and complex cardiac arrhythmia characterized by an irregular and often rapid heart rate. It can lead to severe complications such as stroke, heart failure, and a diminished quality of life. While traditional treatments like medication and standard AFib ablation techniques have been the cornerstone of AFib management, recent advancements have significantly enhanced the efficacy and safety of AFib treatment. In this video, I will do a deep dive into cutting edge advancements including pulse field ablation, high power short duration ablation, and left atrial appendage closure. However, I'll also emphasize the importance of lifestyle modifications in the long-term management of AFib. First, let's talk about pulse field ablation. Pulse field ablation, also called PFA, is an innovative technique that uses non-thermal electrical pulses to selectively ablate cardiac tissue. Unlike traditional thermal ablation methods, such as radiofrequency, which is also called burning method, and cryoablation, which is also called freezing method, PFA employs high voltage electrical pulses to create microscopic pores in cell membranes, leading to cell death through a process called electroporation. But what are the advantages of PFA? 1. Selective tissue ablation. PFA can selectively target myocardial tissue while sparing surrounding structures, such as the esophagus, phrenic nerve, and pulmonary veins. This reduces the risk of collateral damage and associated complications. 2. Reduced risk of esophageal injury. Esophageal injury is a known severe risk of thermal ablation techniques. PFA's non-thermal mechanism minimizes this risk, making it a safer option for patients. 3. Rapid procedure. PFA procedures are generally quicker than traditional ablation methods, reducing overall procedure time and improving patient safety and recovery. Now let's talk about clinical evidence and trials for PFA. Clinical studies have shown promising results for PFA in terms of safety and efficacy. The pulsed AF trial demonstrated a high rate of acute pulmonary vein isolation with minimal complications. The trial included 75 patients and showed a 97% success rate in achieving pulmonary vein isolation. Ongoing studies aim to further establish the long-term outcomes of PFA and its potential role as a first-line therapy for AFib. Future trials are expected to include larger patient populations and longer follow-up periods to confirm these findings. PFA systems such as the Medtronic Pure Select and the Boston Scientific Ferripulse were both FDA-approved starting in late 2023 with expected increased availability over the next year in many hospitals. Now let's talk about high power short duration ablation. High power short duration ablation is a refinement of the traditional thermal radio frequency burning ablation technique. It involves delivering higher power than previously used up to 50 watts over a shorter duration around 10 seconds to achieve rapid and precise lesion formation while limiting damage to surrounding structures. What are the advantages of high power short duration ablation? 1. Efficient lesion formation. High power short duration. Ablation allows for the creation of effective lesions in a shorter period, reducing procedure times and improving patient comfort. 2. Reduced risk of complications. The controlled and precise application with lower burning times minimizes the risk of complications such as steam pops and char formation, which can occur with prolonged lower power ablations. 3. Improved procedural outcomes. Studies have shown that high power short duration ablation can achieve similar or superior outcomes compared to conventional ablation, with higher rates of acute success and lower recurrence of AFib. Clinical evidence and trials for high power short duration ablation. The QDOT FAST study highlighted the benefits of high power short duration ablation. In this study involving 52 patients, the study showed high rates of durable pulmonary vein isolation and low complication rates. The study reported an acute success rate of 98% with a significant reduction in procedure time compared to traditional methods. Further research is ongoing to optimize the parameters of high power short duration ablation and to confirm its long-term efficacy and safety in larger patient populations. Now let's talk about left atrial appendage closure. Left atrial appendage closure is a procedure designed to reduce the risk of stroke in patients with AFib the left atrial appendage is a small pouch-like structure in the left atrium where most blood clots can form in AFib, increasing the risk of stroke. Left atrial appendage closure involves implanting a device to seal off the left atrial appendage, preventing clot formation and subsequent embolization 
while reducing the need for strong blood thinning medications. So what are the advantages of left atrial appendage closure? One, stroke prevention. Left atrial appendage closure is particularly beneficial for patients who are unable to take long-term anticoagulation therapy due to bleeding risks or other contraindications. By sealing off the LAA, the risk of stroke is significantly reduced. Two, reduced dependence on anticoagulants. Most patients who undergo left atrial appendage closure can discontinue their use of anticoagulants, which can have side effects and increased risk for bleeding. Three, minimally invasive. Left atrial appendage closure is typically performed using a minimally invasive catheter-based approach with a rapid recovery time and associated lower risks compared to surgical options. Let's discuss clinical evidence and trials for left atrial appendage closure. The Watchman device is the most studied left atrial appendage closure device and has shown efficacy in reducing stroke risk. The PROTECTF and PREVAIL trials demonstrated that left atrial appendage closure with the Watchman device is an effective alternative to warfarin therapy. The PROTECTF trial, which included over 700 patients, showed that the Watchman device reduced the risk of stroke, systemic embolism, and cardiovascular death by 40% compared to warfarin. The PREVAIL trial with over 400 participants further confirmed these findings. Newer devices, such as the Amplatz or Amulet, are also being evaluated and show promising results. In addition, there is the available integration of advanced technologies for AFib ablation. The integration of advanced imaging and mapping technologies has further enhanced the efficacy and safety of AFib treatments. High-resolution 3D electroanatomic mapping systems, intracardiac echocardiography, and MRI-guided ablation are examples of technologies that allow for more precise targeting of arrhythmogenic tissue and better visualization of cardiac structures during procedures. These advancements contribute to improved procedural outcomes and reduce complication rates. Finally, let's talk about the importance of lifestyle modifications. Despite these technological advancements, lifestyle modifications remain essential for the long-term management of AFib. Diet and lifestyle changes can significantly improve heart health and reduce the frequency and severity of AFib episodes. Let's discuss the key lifestyle changes in the long-term management of atrial fibrillation. One, weight management. Maintaining a healthy weight is crucial. Studies have shown that weight loss can reduce the burden of AFib and improve outcomes after ablation procedures. Two, healthy diet. A diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins can improve overall heart health and can also help manage AFib. Three, regular exercise. Physical activity helps maintain a healthy weight and improves cardiovascular fitness. However, it's important to consult with a healthcare provider to design a safe exercise plan for you. Four, stress management. Stress can trigger AFib episodes. Techniques such as yoga, meditation, and deep breathing exercises can help manage stress levels and reduce recurrence of atrial fibrillation after an ablation. Five, alcohol cessation. Reducing or complete cessation of alcohol intake can significantly improve the long-term success rate of AFib treatment. 6. Treatment of sleep apnea. Untreated sleep apnea can significantly reduce the efficacy of long treatment for atrial fibrillation. Meanwhile, well-treated sleep apnea can improve the success rate of AFib treatment, including ablation. A personalized approach to AFib treatment is very important for the long-term success of treatment. The latest advancements in AFib treatment highlight the trend towards personalized medicine. The choice of therapy is increasingly tailored to the individual patient's clinical profile, risk factors, and preferences. Factors such as the duration and frequency of AFib episodes, the presence of structural heart disease, and comorbid conditions influence the selection of treatment modalities as well as the success rate of procedures for AFib. Conclusion the field of AFib treatment is rapidly evolving, with significant advancements such as pulse field ablation, high power short duration ablation, and left atrial appendage closure offering new hope for patients. These innovations promise improved efficacy, safety, and patient outcomes. As research continues and technologies advance, the future of AFib management looks increasingly promising, with the potential to transform the standard of care for millions of patients worldwide. However, it is crucial to remember that lifestyle modifications, 
including weight management, a healthy diet, regular exercise, and stress management, remain essential components of long-term AFib control. The ongoing focus on personalized medicine ensures that treatments are tailored to individual patient profiles, maximizing the benefits of these cutting-edge therapies.